what you want to see Declare what you want to be Osati Silence They are for nani silence I'm strong Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Juliet and if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you are a retaining subscriber, thank you so much for the support guys. I am not able and I cannot do this without your support guys. So I really appreciate it. So in today's video, based on the title below, I am bringing to you guys a video or a story of a friend of mine who shares with us her experience on being a young mom. So she will let us know how it is, how it was for her. Yeah. So I am going to be back at the end of her video. Hi guys, my name is Sally and I'm 22 years old. Um, I'll be sharing with you my experience as a young mom. Well, I'll be very brief as possible. I'll try to be very brief. Um, I'll start with when I got pregnant. I got pregnant in 2018 and I gave birth in 2019, um, the fourth month, April. To a very beautiful girl. When I first found out that I was pregnant, um, abortion was never an option for me. And the reason why is because, well, I I had I was anemic before I had. If I got pregnant, I was anemic. Well, um, I would all, like usually get sick, you know, and be down with the whole illness. And then, you know, I could research so much about the, the illness, you know, and I always had worries if I was ever going to be a mom and I was ever going to have a child because uh, most people who are anemic don't have children or like most of the time they don't they don't survive during. Um, delivery and the like so I was a little I was like worried most of the time like will I ever have a child so like the moment that I found out I was pregnant seriously guys I was I had mixed emotions I had mixed feelings about it because I was like um, scared to like disappoint my like so many people um, my mom was um, very disappointed course especially that I was a first year student in university I was doing banking and finance and um, you know I got pregnant so it was like really a disappointment so well she was mad and she had to find out it was really hard for her to like really accept it you know like it was hard for her to even our relationship very unstable you know yeah and then with my dad he pretty much disowned me you know he found out from a relative and well a relative who saw me and i told her and she also told the whole family because you know my dad's family uh, you know they were calling him and the like so he ended up finding out from them and he texted me sent me messages and really horrible messages and then just told a few people about it and pretty much I was avoiding people but however I faced some challenges so um, some of the challenges I faced were I was when I was in school when you're pregnant you just it's so hard to balance the two I'm thankful that I did balance and cleared you know I have to spend the whole day at school studying at night sometimes I have to study and I have, at the same time I want to rest I'm having like uh, you know a lot of things going on in my body the hormonal changes and the like so it was very challenging and in anemia was still playing its role and sometimes i would just like um black out like i'll feel very dizzy i can't walk sometimes i just need to crawl you know to like get whatever i need if it's water i have to go to the kitchen i need just to like crawl because i can't walk I can't, like i couldn't even visit my friends I was just like myself I wasn't so free to visit my friends because um, I'm scared what the moms would say I could hear people talk you know like then I go somewhere I could go to church and um, you know um, Christians let's be honest Christians are the most critics like they criticize so harshly without realizing that um, things happen like 
things happen the way they die. Okay. It was really hard. It affects your self-esteem. It may cause stress to you sometimes. Um, for people who are not even so strong, you may find that your baby is not even healthy because of um, because of what you are going through as a mom. I could also advise that um, some things are better avoided because not everyone is too strong to go through it. Not everyone will handle the the critics. Um, people kill themselves. People drive themselves to like aborting because of the things that they are going through you know the things that um how how community will judge them and the like so i just think it's best that young ladies young women avoid avoid having children as much as possible when you are not married because it's not an easy word and well i'm I have a baby and maybe I may not be the right person to tell you but I'm just saying because it's very much important that you have the right knowledge from at least people who have experienced who have, who have been through it you know who have been through the stuff that if you are already if you are already pregnant don't think abortion is the answer don't think um, that's the thing to go for um, if you are there just be strong and Keep your positive vibe and of course be the best example to your child that you're going to bear but if you're not in that situation you can always avoid it i'm back <laughs> so yeah guys that is the video that i had for you and i hope you guys learned something because i really did learn something from her story of course we learn from people's mistakes and that is another way we learn so i just want to thank you sally because i know i'm sure this isn't so easy talking about something really personal knowing that it's going to be posted to the public so i really appreciate your support my girl and i oh girl i salute your braveness i really appreciate it i wasn't going to be able to shoot this video without you so guys i am hoping as i said i'm hoping you learned something you could be in her position. I would want to know how are you coping? How was your experience? How did society take it? Because you know there are critics and all everywhere. So like how did you take it? How did you manage everything? It could help somebody out there who's almost maybe giving up. So your comment would really help them. So if if it's not really personal to you, please comment down below. And see you guys, this is an issue that we really can't run away from. It's happening, it's there. It's, it's all over us, like it's just before our eyes, we are seeing it and we have to talk about it so that we can avoid making certain choices, we can, we can avoid being in certain positions by learning through our friends, our family, whoever it is. And guys, I am going to be back with a similar video. Um, I'm going to have another friend of mine share her experience with us. So. I'm hoping you guys like it as well, love it, and comment. But for now, please don't forget to like this one, comment, subscribe, and share. I will really appreciate it. So guys, like, whatever situation, whatever it could be, one thing I just want to say, a child is a blessing from God. Regardless of how that child is conceived, whichever is considered the right way, or whichever is considered the wrong way, a child is still a blessing from God. Them being conce conceived in the right way or the wrong way, doesn't change their purpose at all a child is still a blessing for God. so guys until next time thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for supporting it until next time